Welcome to Fredo Connect. Fredo Connect allows a team uh, to work concurrently on a, a project model uh, called a, a shared model. Uh, each team member will work on a local copy of the model called uh, an instance uh, model. And all they have to do is to uh, make changes, publish them, and update changes made from, uh, by other team members. So let's illustrate uh, it with this uh, model. We'll see later how to set it up. Uh, so here we have a user called Mr. Blue uh, who has uh, this instance model. Uh, Mr. Green is another team member with uh, the model. The two models are synchronized. Okay. And uh, now let's say Mr. Green will uh, make a change and let's say paint uh, this sail uh, in yellow and uh, maybe this sail as well. Okay. So he is notified that there are two changes made and ready to be published. So publish the changes. Now, Mr. Blue is notified that there are two changes made by Mr. Green to be updated. So just click on the button. You see that the two sales are now uh, in yellow. As we will see later, actually team members can work on a sub model. So for example, here, the sub model is just one sale. Okay, as you can see, because changes have been made to this sale, uh, you can synchronize and update. And the sale will be in yellow. And conversely, if you, if you are on a sum model, if you, let's say, paint the cell in uh, red, you publish, and the other members will now update and get the red cell. Uh, so this is the principle of uh, Fredo Connect. That is, uh, it's really uh, you publish your change, you update changes made by other. You don't have to say what has changed in the model and what needs to be updated. Let's see how to set up and share a model among a, a team. So here is a toolbar of Fredo Connect. Uh, the last icon actually uh, give, gives access to a number of commands, but uh, here we want to create a shared project from the current model and I am a user uh, blue. So uh, you get a, a summary. Uh, by the way, one thing which is important, all members of the team have to access uh, a place called uh, the Fredo Corner root directory, uh, which has to be shared or synchronized on a, on a network. Okay, so uh, whenever you start with Fredo Connect and you have not entered your author name and uh, uh, root Fredo Connect root directory, you are prompted. Uh, for these parameters. So let's create uh, the Fredo project, Fredo Connect project. So let's call it nice shapes. And uh, this is the project code and the display name uh, can be whatever we, we want. Okay, so now, this model, uh, which is on my computer, local, uh, becomes an instance model of the project. Okay, So you see here, 
a status panel uh, which give access to uh, the various uh, commands and we'll see how this this work now let's say another user wants to uh, get access to this uh, shared model and create its own uh, instance to work on it so he will select fetch a shared model again he will be prompted for uh, his author name and uh, the Fredo connect root directory if it's not done already and he will uh, select uh, the Fredo connect we just Fredo connect project we just created uh, which is nice shape okay so then he will be prompted for uh, saving locally under the name he wants uh, the instance model so let's say that this is Mr. Uh, uh, green and uh, up here we create a second instance project for Mr. Green. Okay, so we have now two users sharing the project. It means that if, for example, uh, we paint this uh, this cube in red, we publish the other user will update it to red. Okay, so we have set up uh, two models. Now uh, another uh, user can perfectly uh, join the team, fetch a share model, uh, nice shape, save it under nice shapes, yellow yeah i put a color in the file name which is a trick uh, to simulate several users on uh, on the same computer okay and now we have uh, mr yellow and uh, having uh, the model so he can start for example if he wants to to create a whole in this cube, publish, and the other guys will update it. Let's have a closer look at what happens when uh, a team member makes a change. So let's say that uh, we want uh, to paint this cylinder in blue. So and let's have a look at the other instance model. So you see here that uh, Mr. Green is informed that uh, Mr. Blue has made a change to the cylinder, although it's not yet published. And same here for uh, Mr. Yellow. So what happens if Mr. Yellow now wants to change uh, the same cylinder? So let's say he prefers red. So he sees the banner, there is some conflict, and overing this icon, which is now uh, showing a stop, uh, he sees that this concerns the cylinder. By the way, Mr. Blue, uh, who has made the change, uh, sees the same banner and sees uh, also that Mr. Yellow is uh, also uh, making a, a change. Okay, so somebody has to decide. 
So the first thing usually is that you undo uh, a change. One of them they talk and one of them undo the change. But let's say, as, let's assume it's not the case or they cannot undo uh, the change. Still, they can decide uh, who is going to uh, uh, have the change uh, incorporated in the project. So you click on the stop icon and you see that for this conflict, uh, you have the possibility as Mr. Blue to forget the change or to confirm the change. If you forget the change, then it means that Mr. Yellow, when he publishes, okay, you will be able to update as Mr. Yellow uh, wanted. So you get the change uh, of Mr. Yellow because you say forget my change. Okay, if you keep your change, that will be uh, the reverse. That is, Mr. Yellow uh, will have to uh, take your change uh, that will prevail. So this is how you uh, manage a conflict. Again, the first thing to do is probably undo when you see the red banner. Uh, but in cases where, for example, another user is disconnected, okay, it's useful to have something like uh, conflict management. Uh, although the best is that people talk uh, within the team. It is important to understand that Fredo Connect record changes at the top level of containers. So here you have a component which contains two other uh, components. So if I modify here, for example, by uh, creating another instance of this cube, I actually modified the top level of uh, this big uh, component. Okay, so now in another model, if now I want to paint the cylinder and the cube and modify the cylinder and the cube individually, I can, and you see that there is no conflict. Why? It's because I don't modify the top level uh, of the big container. Okay. So now, if I publish my change, here, the, uh, the, the other user can perfectly update and he will get the new color, the new change for uh, the uh, inner objects, that is for the subcomponent. Now, if he publishes his change, which is to add a cube, then the other user will now get an extra uh, cube. So you see that in Fredo Connect, and unlike uh, XREF mechanism where uh, you apply everything to uh, nested uh, subcomponents, uh, you can perfectly work on the content uh, while somebody is working on the envelope of uh, this uh, content. Okay, and by the way, uh, everything I did applies to component but to group. Hein? Uh, this I think is a group. Yeah, this is a group and uh, it can be perfectly modified uh, across uh, the, the team. Now the third user who did not participate uh, in the changes will normally get uh, both changes uh, and uh, so that the uh, models are now again synchronized.
It is perfectly valid to modify the top level geometry of the model. So, for example, I can uh, move this object, duplicate uh, this object. Uh, there is absolutely zero problem and you can update by the way to show that the top level of the model has been modified so you get a rectangle around the viewport so let's publish and let's move to uh, another uh, uh, instance and you see that the changes uh, apply. The only thing which is not considered as a change and is totally in your is raw geometry at the top level of the model. So you see here it's it's a face, regular uh, face at the top level of the model. If I create another one, first I don't get anything to publish uh, and second uh, it is ignored, that is, the other user uh, won't uh, see it. Okay, so I assume that in complex model that is shared uh, among a team, there is nothing uh, like raw geometry at the top level of the model. Uh, guides, that is uh, construction points and, and uh, construction lines, are ignored. They are not considered as uh, changes and they are not uh, synchronized with uh, other uh, team members. So, uh, for example, if I create uh, a guideline here, okay, uh, you see that there is nothing to publish. Still, if I modify the component, uh, here, okay, now I publish, I still see my guide, by my guideline, huh? but over uh, user will get the change but not uh, the guideline. So as, as a rule uh, guidelines are not considered a change and never carried over to uh, other users. This video has shown the main principles of Fredo Connect. There are other features that will be detailed in uh, other uh, videos already published by the way uh, so I encourage you uh, to have a look uh, among the, uh, the uh, other features I can mention the lock mechanism uh, the sum models the variants the foreign objects which is a way to uh, incorporate and synchronize uh, uh, objects coming from other softwares like DXF, DAE, uh, IFC and so on and keep them synchronized with their source. Uh, you have also annotation which is a way to exchange comments about the model between members uh, and a few other uh, features. Thank you very much.